Hi, I'm Alberto Sartori, a PhD student of the University of Trento, and I will report on the work I did in collaboration with uh, Jamir Marino from the Dresden University and with Sandro Stingari and Alessio Recati from the INO BEC Center. Our goal is uh, to study the dynamics of a spinor Bose-Einstein condensate. Specifically, we consider a two-component atomic Bose gas in which the two components are uh, two different uh, hyperfine levels of uh, some atomic species, dressed by an external radio frequency field, also known as uh, Rabbi coupling. Since in this case only the total number of particles is, is conserved, the system has a reduced symmetry with uh, respect uh, with uh, normal mixtures. At the zero temperature, the system is, is in the condensed phase, and it is described by a spinor order parameter, whose dynamics is governed by two coupled gauss pitayevsky equation where the coupling is both in density and in phase. The Rabi coupling tries to maintain the spinor order parameter in the xy plane of the block sphere, while the unbalance between the inter and interspecies interaction favors a non-zero polarization along the z-axis, that is, to a finite uh, polarization. At mean field level, this gives rise to a classical bifurcation between an unpolarized phase, or a paramagnetic phase, and a spontaneously Z2 broken symmetry phase, also known as ferromagnetic phase. Cold gases are not homogeneous, but uh, they are trapped by means of uh, external harmonic shaped electromagnetic field. So our goal is uh, to study the dynamics of an uh, initial spin dipole configuration after a quench in the external potential. As we show in our work, this dynamics is uh, very different depending on whether the system is uh, initially in the paramagnetic or ferromagnetic uh, regime. In the paramagnetic phase, its response is linear, and the dynamics corresponds to oscillation of the relative center of mass of the two clouds. And this uh, gives rise also to excitation of uh, other modes. The largest frequency is well described by a sum rule approach, but this approach gives uh, only an upper bound to the frequency, and it becomes uh, exact only when uh, there is only a single mode excited in the system. In our case, this happens when uh, all the interactions are equal. In the dynamics, indeed, we see a single and well-defined out-of-phase mode. In the ferromagnetic case, instead, the initial configuration is uh, globally polarized, while the, the final ground state is uh, the polarized one. So, as uh, one can expect, the dynamics in this case is uh, very complex and highly nonlinear. In the numerical simulation, we see that uh, after the quenching, the system seems to be only slightly perturbed. However, after a while, it finds its way towards the real ground state magnetization and uh, it starts uh, jumping back and forth, finally relaxing to the true ground state. As one can expect, the lifetime of the, of the domain wall is uh, the larger, the deeper is the initial configuration in the ferromagnetic regime. The domain wall has uh, a characteristic energy scale that is given by its, its uh, surface tension that goes to zero approaching the phase transition. As a matter of fact, we show that uh, the lifetime of the domain wall is simply proportional to its uh, surface tension. Thanks for the attention.